29th of May 2023. Good, great weather here in Ireland. Great weather, really good. Not that warm, but good. Uh, if you look at one of my videos, recent videos, you'll see a poster there. I think he's something to do with truth or something. Truth speaks or something. Anyway, doesn't matter. He says he was talking to a Sinn Féin person in Kuiper Cross, and they say that Val is half mad. I'm half mad. Is half mad Sinn Féin. So, obviously, that's what they're saying. And we just take a quick look at that. The first thing is, if you're half mad, you must be half sane. I think some philosophers say, say, say that nobody is totally sane. Certainly, if a person's a quiet person all their life and at a wedding or something, they sing a song, well, that's out of character. Are they mad while they're singing the song? You know, If they're a tough guy and they lose a good friend and they cry, is that some type, type of a, a, a half departure from their character? And is mad and mad. I have always claimed only one quality in this world, and that is a very, very sharp ability to count. And even then, I can make uh, mistakes. So the first thing I'll say to Sinn Féin is I want to, um, a debate. I want a discussion in some local hall in Carrick or somewhere, somewhere where there's a moderator. Now, it can't be Joe Duffy, whose programme, Shannon Side Northern Sound in the morning, is sponsored by Airgrid. It'd have to be somebody that would be reasonably fair about it. But I don't mind if they have 82 people on their side and I'm on my own on my side. That'll tell you how confident I am. And I can tell you something. They will never lock horns with me voluntarily. The reality is, for those who don't know, Sinn Féin is an old party. Michael Collins was a member of Sinn Féin, as was Arthur Griffith. It's associated with we in Ireland doing it ourselves. It's not necessarily a sectarian uh, or, uh, name in that it, 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 a lot of people like Parnell and, and those in Wolf Tone were, were all in favour of all religious groups. So it's not sectarian in fairness to it. It's not bigoted either. It just believes that Ireland is the best best country to look after Ireland by an Irish government. And we've achieved that for four-fifths of the country, and I think most of you would agree, we are wasting it, we're destroying our country. Any other country would be as good running us Iceland, Norway, Britain, uh, Canada, France, any other country would be as well running it as the way we run it, but that's a question of opinion. In any event, I try to canvas Sinn Féin and met Sinn Féin people. I won't name individuals because I'm thankful to them for meeting me on the energy situation. I keep it on the energy. And they were in the doll, maybe with not as many TDs as now, not as many politicians as now, but they were in the Irish Parliament and they did nothing about it. When the present refit scheme for electricity was introduced, giving wind energy the same price as the highest fossil fuel price, that was there for Sinn Féin to question, and they did not do it. They're pro-pylon. No matter what they say, they turned up at the meeting up in Carlin's Town to meet on the Mlock wind farm, which was eventually shut down, and they criticised it. Yet they refuse to talk or mention in the doll the requirement for a strategic environmental assessment under the SEA directive, which is the law. So if they were genuine, they'd invoke the law. Right, that'll be going ahead. The north south interconnect will probably go ahead. They'll be whinging and bawling and putting on the ground. And yet, the elephant in the room is that the whole thing is illegal. That's that. What about housing? Their policy is, is best put forward by Declan, Ker Ker Declan Kearney in Belfast, one of their four foremost people in the north. And he wants thousands, if not millions, of people into this country. Okay, he wants unbelievable. There, you go up to Dublin, you walk down O'Connell Street, and you'll soon see we're a minority in our own country. There's no housing. We're not able to cope with the medicines, the hospitals. The minister came out the other day and says we know we need more prisons. But why do we need more prisons? Is it the Irish people are doing it? We have a case in the court recently where a lady from out in Eastern Europe was put out of a shop, a big store, and she got a big lump of money. Because they felt she was shoplifting. I don't know what she was. But the judge was, was not going to go against her. Now, 
in America and is coming here, the big stores are closing down. The big stores like Walmart and those in Chicago are shutting because they simply cannot stop the theft. They're walking in off the street, they're taking what they want off the shelves and they're walking out. That is coming here. That's coming here soon. We always had a good law and order system here. That was, the, that was why we were able to live the way we did. That's going. I was reading through the Hate Speech Act the other day and I'll have a look at it and what I can see is it makes offences of certain uh, hate type crimes or, or, or abusive things to foreigners or homosexuals which is already the law it's already the law so it's an offence to give abuse in a public place to an Irish person but now they're saying more or less well they can go to hell we're not enforcing that but we have a special law for fellas from Botswana and Turkey and other places. See what they're doing? They won't enforce the law for the Irish people, the criminal law, or if you're burgled in your house, you can go to hell. But if you're a, a migrant, they'll come down on you like a ton of bricks. So this is only part of Sinn Féin's policy and there's going to be 36% of those who turn out to vote in the next election want it. They want this. I want a debate. I want a debate in Cav Monaghan Division with Matt Carthy and Paul Tully, Pauline Tully. I want it with that chap McGurk in, and, and, and Darren O'Rourke in Meath. And we want to deal with this. Could, is there any possibility that my, this type of talk will make people see how stupid they are and how they're being led by the nose by these parties who have no, who know well what they're at and do not support it. But head office, calls the shots. Head office calls the shots. And I think at best in the next election, my way of thinking might get 13% of the vote. If there was a new party in Ireland, it wouldn't do well. The National Party may be a bit extreme. I don't think it's going to do well. The Freedom Party it tends to be anti-EU and I'm not so sure the Irish will go for that. So this is the situation. And that's the situation in America. That's why they were against Trump. Trump is for stopping wars. He did not want endless wars. That's why they were down on him. And RTE in Ireland, the Irish pro, uh, broadcaster, said Biden was a man of peace. And he propagated the Ukraine war years after. It could have been settled within three months. With, there'd have to be concessions. They would not let them settle it and the British would not let them settle it. And you have a few people like Claire Daly and Mick Wallace making a particular point of view, but that's the reality. Trump has already said it would be his priority to stop it. And they don't want Trump because the, the motive of the United States government this last 20 years is war, war, and more war. Intervening, trying to turn the world the way they want it, and that's going to be some battle, okay? This is the lies that's been told. And it's going to work like a dream with the gobshite Irish voter. It's going to work like a dream. I want a debate with Sinn Féin. Come on, step up to the plate. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll see you back for something else soon.